All right, guys, today I thought I'd do a video on my walking stick. It's probably safe to say that a walking stick or a staff is probably one of the first things that early man learned to utilize. It's such a useful and functional item, it's no wonder that it was found in just about every culture throughout time. And much like fire, I do believe that there is an ancient connection between man and stick. All right, well, I guess it's only fitting that I talk a little bit about the how and why I chose this particular cedar limb. I first came across this cedar limb when it was a cedar sapling about 10, 12 feet in length. I was out here collecting other sticks and limbs to build one of my lean-tos about two years ago. And the thing that caught my eye about this one is it had a deer scrape on it. You know, so I go in to get a closer look at the scrape and while I'm down there I just happen to notice how straight this particular limb was and it was the perfect diameter of a walking stick. So. I went ahead and cut it down and set it aside, but since I was out here doing other things that day, I, you know, quickly got sidetracked and forgot all about it. Well, it was just recently that I stumbled across it again and remembered, oh yeah, you know, the, the walking stick. But And since it had been out here the last two years, and you know, it was good in season, so got my hatchet and started debarking it and removing any small limbs it had on it and basically just slowly bringing it to life. And I gotta say, and uh, grown quite fond of it and just in the few short weeks that I've had it. Now one neat thing I did notice uh, when I was observing this cedar limb is it had a natural bend down by the base. Now I've, I've since carved that out a little bit more with my knife to make it a little more pronounced or more prominent but whether I'm gripping it this way or this way you know either, either way it feels very natural in my hand and that is definitely one aspect that I do like about this walking stick. A little information about my walking stick. It is made out of cedar. Comes up to about my chin. As far as cedar goes, it is relatively straight. It does have a slight taper running down this way. And for the most part, it is the same diameter, the whole length of the, of the stick, which makes for a very well-balanced walking stick. Now I know y'all may see this and say, Dale, you're crazy, that looks nothing like cedar. Well, that's because I, I put a stain on here to give it a more weathered and rustic look, but I, I guarantee you underneath this stain it is indeed cedar. Now a couple unique things about cedar. Cedar itself is practically rot resistant, and cedar being a solid wood is also a very light wood, and the grain of cedar is soft enough to where it's not gonna kill the edge of your blade while carving it. You know, all those things, in my opinion, make cedar a good candidate for a walking stick. I use my walking stick a lot. Everything from breaking trail, clearing spider webs, and any limbs that may want to hit me in the face. I use it as a walking aid going up and down inclines. It's a perfect stabilizer going across creeks. If I'm walking through tall grass, I use it to kind of probe the ground in front of me, hopefully scare off any snakes that might be in there. All right, the other obvious use of a walking stick or a staff is probably for self-defense, you know, to use it as a weapon. You know, I don't ever foresee myself being attacked by a wild animal, but, you know, for the sake of conversation, like someone's dog or a coyote does decide to charge me. The walking stick does provide distance you know I can keep that animal at bay you know if nothing else it gives me something else to offer them to bite besides my leg okay let's talk human factor which is probably the more likely of the scenarios your walking stick itself should serve as a deterrent I mean because let's be honest you know a walking stick or a staff is essentially just a very long wooden club you know so with it you no longer appear unarmed or helpless you know, but if somebody is just bound and determined to attack you, your walking stick gives you the option of using both ends and attacking from multiple angles. And with your walking stick, you get the added advantage of striking your opponent from a much safer, farther distance. Alright, I thought I'd say a few words and it may seem a little off topic, but I think anybody who has had a walking stick for a few years can probably relate to what I'm about to say. 
And that is, I think, in some weird way, that a walking stick can serve as a companion. Now, when I say companion, I don't mean, you know, something that you can talk to or interact with, per se. Uh, no, I mean a companion more in the sense of how a campfire might be to a person who's out solo camping. You know, at the end of the day, that campfire, just the presence alone, is going to be inviting and familiar, you know, so it can give the sense of, like, having an old friend around. And from personal experience, you know, I know a walking stick can function in that capacity as well. You know, I've had several walking sticks, you know, some I've had for quite a few years and have logged a lot of miles with it, you know, so over time you just tend to build a bond or a connection with your walking stick. And, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing, you know, especially for those of us who prefer to be alone on trail. You know, I know me personally, I have a lot of loner tendencies, you know, I tend to be a solitary person. And, uh, you know, especially when I'm out hiking or when I come out here in the woods, you know, it's kind of my time to be alone and, and regroup. So having a walking stick can be, you know, a welcome companion, you know, especially if it's one that you've had for a lot of years and it's been by your side for a lot of miles, you know, be kind of kind of like, the you know, a baseball player in his lucky hat, you know. <laughs> but weird or not, you know, I, it, it's just a different aspect that a walking stick can provide, you know, so I thought I would include that into the conversation of walking sticks. Well, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching, and hopefully y'all can catch me again real soon.